but the lace up. Every day is game day. Off my third pawn track, you still on that same play. I spit it out, but I got fans. Sitting chain links, oh you about that action? Tell them boys you about the same thing. Get your popcorn ready, have me have Cuban highlight reel. You gon' sing my name in Beijing. Heavy red by take, you gon' see the pain that made me. It's gritty on a gridiron, only one of us can stay king. Touchdown every time I touch down, and my defense shut down every time I touch ground. Lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back, but I'm gonna ride for my people. And once I take the stage. The sequel, yo, this the IFL. Swear to me, become heroes in the end. Are oh, you ready for that end? Oh, you ain't really got that end. Oh, are you ready for that end? Oh, are you ready for that end? Oh, you ain't really got that end. Oh, are you ready for that end? Oh, end. Outside the SAP Center on this Easter Sunday as the defense of the IFL title begins. The Bay Area Panthers inside take on their longtime rival, the Arizona Rattlers. Hi, everybody. I'm Dave Lewis along with Steve Pappen. Good to be back. Great to be back. You got some jewelry? A little bit. This is favorite cat stuff. Yeah, but they got some jewelry. The Panthers looking to defend their title and get some more jewelry against their longtime rivals. Now, what's the mindset? They go from 1-15 to winning it all, how's that different? Now it's different because you're the hunted. If you're a coach, you know everybody's coming for you. You're gonna get their guess, best game plan. If you're a player, you know you're the champ. They're coming after you, but you have this kind of bravado ness that you got. They gotta take it from you. Yeah, the Panthers brought back a lot from last year's title team, but they have a new quarterback. Daquan Neal, one of the best in the business. Yeah, one of the best for sure. He's been with Dixie before, Coach Wooten, so he's, he's familiar with the offense and what goes on. In 2019, he was the league's MVP as a rookie and won the championship, so the Bay Area Panthers got a good one. Coming off a year with Vegas, throwing for almost 2,000 yards. Now, the Rattlers have a new quarterback, and they know around here, he's not playing today, though, Dalton Sneed. Yeah, when you lose Dalton Sneed, if you're the Bay Area Panthers, that's a tough a tough loss, but if you're Arizona, you gained the champion, you gained a competitor. Luckily for us, he's not playing tonight. Yeah, missing with a sprained MCL. He'll be out in a couple weeks. Maybe Lorenzo Brown, who's been around a long time in this game. Coming up, a chance to talk with the head coach, Rob Keefe, as we continue with our countdown to kickoff right after this on the Panthers Network. the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. From the beginning, Marowest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Merrill West worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Merrill West works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Merrill West is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. We're getting ready for the Panthers and Arizona Rattlers to kick off the beginning of the brand new year and with the coach Rob Keefe. What about your energy? You're always fired up anyway, bouncing off the walls. What about your level of excitement today? Yeah, I couldn't be more excited right now. You know, a little calm because it's uh, the, kind of the calm before the storm, but uh, this is going to be a great game. Uh, a lot of respect to the Arizona Rattlers. Big-time rivalry game. It just happens to be the, the week one kickoff, which uh, makes it even more special. Is there a different message to the team this year as the champions, right? You're the hunted rather than the hunter? Oh, without a doubt. You know, we have a, a great returning group. We have 11 returners, and they've all been telling the, the, you know, the young rookies, the guys who have come from other teams, exactly what this is going to be. We're always going to get everybody's best. There's no hiding now, especially when you're uh, the defending champions. You had a great quarterback battle with Duquan Neal and Felix Harper. 
Daquan was the winner. Talk about what made the difference and what he brings to the table. Well, I, you know, I think, look, they're both great quarterbacks. They're both awesome people. Uh, Daquan has a little bit more familiarity in a, a Dixie's, uh, uh, you know, system. And, you know, with that being said, I mean, Coach Wooten feels good about both of them, so we might be able to see both of them tonight. Now, you had the chance to see the Rattlers play twice before this game. A couple of keys. You'll beat them today, win game one if you can, blank. Well, I well, we got to take care of the football. You know, Arizona's a great team. Uh, you're going to see a lot of great situational football uh, coaching uh, under a minute, uh, timeouts. Uh, you'll see probably some trick plays. You'll see some, uh, you know, great. I mean, they might even onside kick us. They might even, uh, you know, fake field goals. I mean, that's how uh, crazy this game is going to be. We just got to be ready for everything. And, again, take care of the football, score in every possession, make sure we score last before the half, you know, have the ball at the end of the game, all these little situational things because, you know, they're coached very well too. I appreciate your time. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you, everybody. That's the coach Rob Keith back with more after this. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. You've been on for too long, online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost, where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Off the schedule, Steve, you couldn't ask for much more than this. One versus two in the preseason poll, and two teams that very well could play for the Western Conference Championship. Yeah, and I think that's what you're going to get. You got that same matchup last year to start, start of the season. You're going to get it again. I think when you look at these two teams, they're the premier franchises on the west side of the conference, so why not let them do battle in, in week one for the Bay Area and week three for Arizona? Last year, a couple of great games. 47-46 in the opener with Darren Hungerford turning back that two-point try after they closed within a point. In fact, Kevin Guy wanted nothing to do with overtime. And then in game two, the game in the desert, going down to the final series. Yeah, and the thing about this league and this game is so many different faces, so many different guys have come and gone or switched teams or been out of here. So now you're almost getting a two new teams going up against each other, but still the same head coaches and same coaching staffs. That's what's going to make this game interesting. And you are talking about a couple of guys at the head coaching position with some great pedigree, Kevin Guy along with Rod Keith. Yeah, I mean, those two are by far the winningest coaches probably. If you combine their, what, how many rings they've gotten or how many games they've played, championship football uh, games together, they've probably had far and beyond more than anyone else or any other combo in the league. So tonight you're going to get two great teams going up against each other, but again, you're going to get two great coaches that know each other's ins and outs. Rob Keith with eight championship rings over his career, including last year, of course, the title winning team to winning it all. Kevin Guy, four rings, three arena bowls, and one IFL championship. Yeah, he is one of the best, and he's done it, you know, that, that time when he it, and he won those three or four in a row and had some great teams, and this year he's going to do it with a different supporting cast, but you best believe Kevin Guy play football. 
had a chance to visit with him on the field before the game. He said, hey, Dave, we'll be there at the end, just like last year when they had Drew Powell out for a while. By the time they got to the second half of the season, they were the best team in the league. Yeah, it's very rare, unless you're the South Carolina Gamecocks women's basketball, that you go from start to finish and be the most dominant team. Things happen, injuries happen, players come and go, and things like of, of that nature. So today's game is kind of a measuring stick, but by no means is it going to have any bearing on who's in the IFL championship at the end of the season. As we mentioned, a new look at quarterback with Daquan Neal will be the trigger man when the Panthers get the ball first. By the way, our official for tonight's game, Ken Ray, the referee, Bobby Alcantara, the umpire, Jordan Smith, head linesman, Ray Master, the line judge, Jason Smith is the back judge. Dawson Evans, the rookie from Kutztown University to do the kicking. And a very exciting return man. They love Josh Tomas out of Georgetown. He'll get his first touch in the IFL. This is Josh Tomas. Across the 15 to the 16-yard line. At the Panthers' first possession of this 2024 season. Their first possession as IFL champions. Yeah, and it's going to be without the guy who called the game last year, who was their trigger man last year, Dalton Sneed, but in comes Daquan Neal, who is just as good, just as talented, one of the best quarterbacks in this league, so I don't think this offense is going to miss a beat. Last year played with Vegas and threw for almost 2,000 yards. 39 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Wide receivers, J.T. Stokes, Jazeric Peterson, and Pierre Williams, the rookie out of Sacramento State. Daquan says go, first play from scrimmage. This is Neal. And some trouble. Flip it forward. And Pierre Williams, his first catch across the 18-yard line. Daquan getting something out of nothing. Yeah, and he had Stokes running wide open down the middle of the field, and he just didn't see it. He had his arm up a la Randy Moss. And if on film session tomorrow, Daquan's going to really be upset at himself because he had a touchdown on the first play. Dixie said, look for them to go with the long ball tonight. Second down and seven. Stokes shifts from right to left. Two and forward motion. Neal takes the shotgun snap. Pass over the middle. Juggled and incomplete at the 24-yard line. Intended for Pierre Williams. Dobbs on the coverage. And early on, D.L., you see all the shifts and motions that Coach Wooten has done. And a lot of that is because Coach Guy see something the defense is called then when you shift and you motion now they got to check into something else and like we see on that first play they were had a blown coverage and should have been a touchdown to stokes we're looking at the replay in the big screen look like pierre may have caught that one the offensive line and dixie Wooten, the third really likes the quinston sharp kyle davis and josh sacker facts that he thinks sharp might be gone to a higher league in about four or five games loves his footwork Third down, seven to go. Daquan Neal, big opening. Neal with the first down, inside the 20. Daquan Neal, inside the 10. And the Panthers in the red zone for the first time. Gonna go, fa gonna go fast here when he's hand clapping. That means hurry up, hurry up. Coach Wooten's gonna go fast. Rattlers have been dinged by running quarterbacks the first two games of the season. Neal takes the shotgun snap. Shane Simpson, his first carry inside the five. They love his upside. That's the one thing you love about Coach Wooden. After a big play, he's got you on the ropes. He's going to go hurry up offense right there. We got a chance to see the first run of the game. Simpson goes, gets down inside the three-yard line, inside to the four, and that's just what Coach Wooden does. He tries and catch you off guard while you're trying to check calls and get you discombobulated. Simpson is fourth year out of University of Virginia. Last year played with Quad City. Second down and goal from the three. U-turn motion. Neal into the end zone for the first touchdown of 2024. Bay Area strikes first. And, and they made it look easy, D.L. It was, it was easy. It was very precise. Coach Wooten has a plan, knows what he wants. And Daquan and him just have this relationship. They know what's good. They know what's going on. That was going to be a little speed option right there. Reads the defensive end, defensive end takes the running back. Daquan sees the lane, linebacker takes the running back. Easy touchdown for Daquan Neal. 
Craig Peterson out for the point after. Tomas is the holder. Three and a half gone by in this opening period. Snap back, ball down, and the kick is good. Clock stopped, 11 26 to play in the opening period. B area seven, Arizona nothing. Back with more from the SAP Center right after this. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Welcome back to the SAP Center. Panthers on top. Seven to nothing. Scoring the opening drive to Quan Neal with a big run, the 23-yarder to get them close, and Neal finished it off. Yeah, and I mean, that was typical Coach Wooten. He always likes to get something going early on in the game and get in the rhythm, and he, he has his things charted of what he wants to do. He's seen Coach Guy a number of times to know what defense he's going to get in and which, which formations to make it go. So he did a great job there with Daquan Neal in his first series or possession as a Bay Area Panther. Hey, what about the vagaries of the schedule, Pap? This is the third game for Arizona. And obviously you get the reps and you get a chance to you know, work out some kinks, but you also get injured. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, not getting as much practice in game one. Yeah, and, and that's the one thing that your, your practice has to be crisp. Your practice has to be precise because you are kind of behind the eight ball because you really can't start camp until it's your season. Like Arizona started two weeks ago, but Barry wasn't able to go to camp during those times. So you got to make the best of it. And then what that does, it just gets your guys laser focused and they're ready and hungry to come out for tonight's ball game. Peterson about to kick off for Bay Area. Glenn Gibbons Jr. set to return for Arizona. Thought that was Hunky Cooper for a minute in the 14. <laughs> of course, Gibbons won a championship playing for Northern Arizona a couple years ago. Craig Peterson, the lucky rabbit's foot, seems to win a championship wherever he plays. Bangs it away. across the 10 to the 14 yard line now the first possession for the rattlers one and one on the year they won their opener against northern arizona then the loss very difficult loss to vegas at home last time out and it looks like they're going to go with brown as the starter here at dl so a lot of experience a lot of understanding into this game not really going to take a lot of chances. It's going to be very precise and efficient. Barry has got to stay glued to the receivers. Lorenzo Brown coached out of retirement. Of course, a legend with Sioux Falls. Won three IFL championships as a member of the Storm. He says go. Two in forward motion. It's Jamal Miles. And chopped down at the 13-yard line. Big hit by Joe Fouché out of LSU. It's funny you mentioned that. It reminds me a little bit of Stingley wearing that seven. And then when you said LSU... SEC football. That's how you make a tackle. That's how you square up a running back and get him down for a loss. Great start for Bay Area in the secondary with all the f different faces. Fouché played his first three years at Arkansas before going to LSU. Second down, 11 to go. Brown throws far sideline, pass caught. To about the 21 yard line. That's Houston making the catch. <laughs> 
This is what we're going to get tonight with Brown. You're going to get a lot of the quick stuff. He's going to take his shots here and there with Coach Guy, but he's got to be precise in what he does and not turn the ball over because they're going to be in for a long night trying to stop this Bay Area Panthers offense. Up front, Daytona Jackson, Morris Joseph, and Tavon Grant, the front three. Third down. Rattler is only three for 12 on third down so far this year. Pass for our sideline, yeah, incomplete. Sets up fourth down. Bowers bringing the heat right up the middle. Great job right there by Bowers. That's why he's in there. That's why he's the guy. We got a penalty. I don't know if they're going to get him for going too soon or being out of the belt, but it looks like this is probably going to be against the Panthers' defense and give Arizona a first down. Kevin Guy walking on the field. Offering his two cents. Here's Ken Ray. And no penalty. It's on Arizona. Decline. Rattlers last year, 58% on fourth down, fifth best in the IFL. So far in two games, two for four. Fourth down, three to go. Brown retreats, fires over the middle, pass caught for a first down. Across midfield, Jamal Miles making the catch. Tyler Watson on the tackle for Bay Area. Yeah, that's tough right there. Just a little over route, a little crossing route by Miles. And it, Brown knew exactly who he was going to. Once he got jugged by the defensive end and cleared the, the backer, that ball was going right to Miles for the first down at the sticks. Wide receivers for Arizona, Jamal Miles, Isaiah Houston, and Glenn Gibbons, Jr. Our front, Cole Carter, Lamar Mady, and William Lay. That's Miles in motion. Shotgun snap. Pass is incomplete. Too tall. Lorenzo Brown coaxed him out of retirement. He was on the couch a couple weeks ago. Had just two days practice last week before playing in the game against Vegas. And that's a testament to Coach Guy and his Arizona Rattlers staff and, and, and uh, program because when you retire and you're done with the game, it takes a special team or a special coach to get you to come out and do and start playing again. And Coach guy is definitely that guy and a chance at least guy hopes to have brown maybe around for the rest of the year but sneed due to come back following the bye second down 10 to go miles sweep bounces outside inside the 17 yard line fouche making the stop into the wall what we've seen early here, DL, is a lot of empty formation, a lot of fly motion with Miles is the only type of run game look like you're going to get, which is going to put a lot of pressure on Brown, a lot of quick game, because if he's in empty, there's an unfree blocker coming. Now it's man-to-man -man in the secondary, but again, we see an empty formation. Seven-yard pickup, third down and three. Keeps it himself. Comes up short to about the 15. Antoine Kincaid making the tackle a sensational rookie season a year ago. Yeah, and the one thing about Kincaid, he's not going to miss that tackle. He's built like a running back, I mean a, a linebacker. Likes to tackle, very physical, does a great job of getting Brown down for the short of the fourth down. First down to put Arizona in fourth down for the second time in this drive. Fourth down a yard to go. Going with four wide receivers. Brown takes the shotgun snap, dumps it short, pass caught for a first down near the 10 yard line. I'm trying to think, it looks like Odom made the catch down there for the first down and the boundary. And that was just get to the sticks, turn around. Kincaid's got to play a little bit tougher coverage on that, knowing that it's fourth and short. You know, we always had a saying in that situation, it was either going to be our ball or a touchdown. We didn't want to give up the first down. So they're tightening up the coverage a little bit, you know, and make Brown beat you over the top. Going without Shannon Brooks, their lead running back out of Minnesota. 
First down from the 10. Panthers lead 7-0. Quarterback draw, Lorenzo Brown. Stuffed at the 12. Kincaid says not this time. Wes Bauer is also there. Yeah, that was the first time Coach Guy went into a uh, formation with a running back and then tried to do a little quarterback follow, quarterback draw. And Kincaid says, no, thank you. I'm here to help you, along with Wes Bowers getting in there to take on Odom at the, at the uh, fullback spot. Five and a half to play in the first. Bay Area 7 nothing. No Dalton Sneed. Had a chance to visit. Said he should be ready after the bye. MCL injury. Lorenzo Brown, quick hitter. Jamal Miles inside the 10. Knocked down at the 9-yard line. Arizona working underneath. Yeah, and I, th you, I thought you were going to get that with Brown being only his first true week of practice. Bay Area, you're not really knowing what kind of defense they're going to give you new guys. Get him into some rhythm throws. Get him, get him some throws early. Get the guys the ball so they can see what they can do once they get it in their hands. Tyrone Cromwell making the tackle for Bay Area. Third down again from the nine. Trips left, two and forward motion. Here comes the blitz. Pass to the end zone and complete. Off the mark intended for Isaiah Houston. Yeah, Houston got a little bit of alligator arms. He saw Cromwell coming from the other side to kind of get in his way, interfere him a little bit, and didn't want to get his hands out there. And that was just a zone coverage with man crossers. And again, Barry does a good job of forcing Brown on an errant throw. Fourth down, they're going for the field goal with Dawson Evans. Last week, three for four. Mix from 20, 19, and 22. Miss from 48. He is a rookie from Cutstown University. Garrett Kittle, the holder. Snap back, ball down. Kick is up. And it is good. A half of a stop for Bay Area. Clock stops, 348 to play in the opening period. Panthers seven, Arizona three. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Every day is game day, off my third contract, you still on that same play, lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle, I put the city on my back, look, I'm gonna ride for my people, and once I take the stage, I'ma start like evil Knievel, I built the conquer heights, my mind's a daily defeat, and when once I get my first ring, I'm manifesting the sequel, yo, this the IFL, swear to me, make them heroes in the end, are oh, you ready for that? From the beginning, Meriwest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Meriwest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Meriwest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Meriwest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Half a stop for the Panthers and a 7-3 lead. Dave Lewis along with Steve Pappen. 3.48 to play in the opening period. Banner reveal night here at the SAP Center on your Easter Sunday. 
We always say three stops, you should win the game. Half a stop there in your first one after you scored. It's almost like a full stop because you did score and then stop them. So see if Barry can, can build on that with their second possession. Remember the game at Arizona last year. The Panthers did not come up with a stop the entire game. This is Tomas. Josh across the 15 to the 16-yard line. The Panthers are scoring their first drive with a Daquan Neal rushing touchdown. We very well could see some Felix Harper, too, before the game. Dixie said that really loved the quarterback battle and that Daquan really got the edge because of the experience. Yeah, Felix is a guy that's been here last year, backed up Dalton, got a chance to start a game or two and did a great job. Can definitely play in this league. In fact, both Neal and Harper with NFL experience. Daquan with that camp with Indianapolis and then Felix Harper, a stint with the Cleveland Browns. They always say when you got two, you got none. But in this situation, I think you got two pretty good ones. Three receivers left. JT Stokes to the bottom of your screen. Shane Simpson with a head of steam. To the 23-yard line. Really like Shane. The last nine games for Quad City a year ago. Averaged almost seven yards a carry. Got some big, 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 big shoes to fill as well. I thought last year Justin Rankin should have been MVP of the league, and he's gone. And now Simpson's in, and he's going to get the same opportunities as, as Rankin. So now we get to see what, what he gets to do for the rest of the season. By the way, Justin Rankin, our halftime guest, was here for the ceremony tonight. This is Simpson with a head of steam near midfield. Giving Shane that head start with the forward motion. Began his career at Towson State. In fact, was an FCS All-American before finishing up at Virginia. He's definitely going to get some opportunities here with Daquan and this great receiving core. And Coach Wooten, he's just, Coach Wooten doesn't have a style. He's not a air raid, an option, or, or, or anything. He, he does what's best for his ball club. Does a great job of taking what the defense gives. Three receivers left. Third down, just over a yard to go. Daquan Neal, deep shot, has a man out there! JT can't hang on! Almost went horizontal. The same end zone that a year ago. And the funny thing about that is that was the exact same play from the first play of the game. Coach Wooten no, knew they had missed Stokes early in the first place, so he goes right back to it and just off the fingertips or would have been six points. His teammate Pierre Williams stuck up both arms thinking that was a touchdown. <laughs> missed it by a whisker. Fourth down a yard to go. Now Simpson on the right hip of Daquan Neal, two and forward motion. Run the option. Daquan in some trouble. Throwing for a loss, we'll check on the flag. You're only going to get holding or illegal defense. And the way Coach Guy's looking, it looks like it could be an illegal defense. Which Arizona did a great job on that one. DL is stopping him from running that option. Big break, Pap, if it goes this way. Savon Lowry out of his stance. I don't know if Coach Guy has replay over there or iPads or anything like that, but if he did, that would have been one I challenged. You get a good stop right there on fourth down, good momentum play to have it taken away by a penalty. Ball moved to the Arizona 21-yard line. Panthers on top, 7-3. Netley split Simpson wide left. Daquan says go. Neal, quick hitter. Pass caught. Good for a first down at the 10-yard line. Really fighting to jar that football free. J.T. Stokes. Good strong hands, good strong catch right there. Here goes the clapping. They're going to go fast here again. They got a big play first down inside the 10-yard line in the red zone. Here comes Coach Wooten going fast. Ball at the nine. Pump fake. 
Dequanee, a lob to the end zone and almost picked off. Dobbs dropping an interception for Arizona. You can see first game miscommunications here with uh, Bay Area and O'Neal, I mean Neal, because he had Simpson wide open. Another penalty on the Rattlers. Devontae Merriweather. And that's by a veteran. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, Neil, he had Simpson he, down the sideline, like on a rail route wide open, and that's just from only seeing it in practice and not having the game speed as you would in a game like today for the first one. He'll settle down and start seeing those throws and make it easier on himself. First down from the four. Two in loop motion. Hold everything. And that ends the period. I don't think they got the playoff in time. All it was, they ran out of time prior to the snap. We'll flip it around to start the second period. One quarter in the books. Championship celebration night on Easter and Bay Area with a 7-3 lead. From the beginning, Marowest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Marowest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Marowest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Marowest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers indoor football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Panthers, the number one team in the coaches poll this week. Massachusetts getting up to number two with a 3-0 and start. And I was wondering when I saw that, it was just because they're the defending champs because they haven't played in three weeks and they've remained there for the three weeks that they've been on top. Starting the second period from the four-yard line, Daquan Neal handoff for Simpson. Shane makes one miss into the end zone for a Bay Area touchdown. Making people miss is Simpson's superpower. Into the zone for the first time as a Bay Area Panther. Well, he activated it right there for the first time as he gets a little handoff from Neal and then cuts left. And then we've seen it last year with Rankin on the cutback, except here, Simpson doesn't really cut all the way back, just puts his left foot in the dirt plants and comes back and goes straight up inside for an easy score. Coaching staff really high on what Simpson can bring to the table. Peterson on for the point after. Tomas the holder. Snap back ball down. And the kick is true. 14-3. For Arizona, a couple of mistakes on defense cost him in a big way. Seven plays, 34 yards, and the four-yard touchdown finisher from Shane Simpson. Had a shot at a stop with the fourth down. Illegal defense extends the drive, and the Panthers end up scoring. And see, that's what, what people don't realize. We always say three phases of the game, offense, defense, special teams, but in certain games, penalties and the most disciplined team get you the win. Had Arizona not had that penalty with the illegal defense, they would have had the ball, thus only seven points on the board. And, those are the little things that might come back to haunt you at the end of the ball game. 
Panthers head to the road for the first time after this game. They'll take on Jacksonville. Team making the move from the NAL. Jacksonville 0-1 after that loss to Massachusetts. They're taking on Vegas right now, by the way. Trip to the Five Star Veterans Memorial Coliseum. It's interesting. Last year, after the game or first game or so, Massachusetts was on the schedule far back east trip. Now it's Jacksonville, and Bay Area has a, a, a long trip in a short week to get ready for that. Two possessions, two Panther touchdowns. Rob Keith's team with a half a stop at a 14-3 lead. Craig Peterson last year began the season with Arizona. Suffered a groin injury and later released. Had a chance to win a championship, of course, with Bay Area. That kick through the back of the end zone. Nice placement. That's a veteran that's got all the kicks, too. And that's big for your, for not only for your special teams unit, but that's big for your defense. Penn and Arizona in here deep, especially when you know they like going empty, which means quick throws. You're able to jump a few here and there, get your hands up if you're a defensive end, or Wes Bowers gets an opportunity to rush free uh, without a blocker uh, protecting Brown. Lorenzo Brown last week, 10 out of 14 for 120 yards, one touchdown and one interception. His second series. Starting from the five, Jamal Miles in loop motion. Try the run. Daytona Jackson, first man there. Turning back Odom. I tell you what, I don't know if it's a lot of film preparation or Bay Area having the advantage of watching Arizona play two weeks prior to tonight, but this defense is all over everything that Arizona is trying to do. Everything that they're trying to create, it seems like the Bay Area Panthers are one step ahead of them. Wes Bowers getting a piece of that tackle for the Panthers in his second year out of Bowie State. Second down, eight to go. Two and forward motion. Lorenzo Brown lets it go. Nice touch, Houston. Good for a first down across midfield. Fouché and Cromwell combined on the tackle for the Panthers. Nice throw. Yeah, great throw right there. Cromwell got a little bit too deep in his zone coverage, gave up a little bit too much. He was kind of playing like a man three in, in, in the outdoor game and let the underneath receiver get open and, and a good throw by Brown out of his own end zone to give his team some breathing room. Houston last week, the team's leading receiver in the loss to Vegas. Six catches for 81 yards and a score. Made the team on an open tryout. 12 and a half to play in the opening half. Brown fumbles the snap, gets it back, lets it go across the middle. Pass caught. Houston again inside the 10 and chopped down at the seven yard line. Kincaid and Watson converge on the stop. See, that's the one thing about a veteran like Brown. He sees zone and he knows where his check downs are. He's going to check the high route first, but because he's a veteran and he knows how to play, he knows exactly where these zones are going to be. And Barry has got to do a little bit better job of just tightening them up a little bit because I understand what Coach Guy, I mean, excuse me, what Coach Keefe is doing here is just these guys got to tighten the reins a little bit in the zone coverage. That O-line really holding up for Arizona, giving him time to throw. First down from the six. Odom running left, head of steam inside the five to about the two yard line. Spot him at the one. It's a five yard pickup, running left. Odom gets the ball there and gets to his left and he does a little cutback. He's wearing that number 26, reminds me of old school Clinton Porters when he was with the Broncos and then later with Washington. Does a great job of following his blockers and getting what he can and getting down to the one. Here's where Bay Area can really take a stand if they can keep Arizona out of the end zone here. Second down from the one. Brown, touchdown. Biting on the play fake rather than, than getting to the edge. Lorenzo Brown into the end zone for the first time. And with the zone read like that, you would think defensive end Grant would have had quarterback, and I couldn't say if that was Atkins coming off that corner. He should have had quarterback. If you got to, if you're slanting the whole line like that, one guy's got quarterback, the other guy's got running back, and good enough play fake. I think Atkins just believed the running back had the ball. 
Dawson Ebbets off at the point after. Garrett Kettle is the holder. First Rattler touchdown of the game. And the kick is good. Clock stops, 10.28 to play. In the first half. Round to the end zone. It's a 14-10 game. Bay Area on top. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. From the beginning, Meriwest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Meriwest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Meriwest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Meriwest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Five plays, 45 yards, the one-yard run for Brown. It's a 14-10 game. Panthers on top. I misspoke. I'm still thinking 2023 championship run when I said Atkins. I mean, Kincaid came from the backside uh, and had the wrong read on that last touchdown by uh, the Rattlers. Atkins banged up, so it'll be back in a week or two. Really came out at the end of last season. Yes. Was huge in the championship run. Kick us away. Joshua Tomas. Nailed at the five yard line. Big hit on special teams. Connor Taylor. Taylor Connor with a vicious hit. No, no new NFL rules. Everybody line up at the 20 yard line and go five yards apart there. He, he flew down the field. Got past the first and second lines and did a great job of sizing up Tomas for the tackle. Forward progress to the seven. And now the third possession for the Panthers. It's going to be interesting to see here, Dio, how Coach Wooten addresses this third possession. Does he take his time or does he keep his foot on the gas and, and, and try and go down here and get an easy, quick score? Simpson splits out wide left. Now JT in motion with Peterson. Dropping back as Neal. Daquan makes one miss at her step and takes it to the wall. Escorted by Devontae Merriweather. Short pickup. Second down and about eight to go. Yeah, Coach Wooden, he was going to take a shot right there. He's going to try and see if he can get JT thinking what Coach Guy does on every first down, which coverage he's going to be in every first down. You try and call your play based on that. Switched it up a little bit there. Went a little, looks like too high, too, too underneath cloud looking coverage there by the Rattlers and, and kind of stalled out uh, Neil, what he was trying to accomplish with Stokes. Ball inside the left hash mark. Neil sends two and forward motion to Quan, straight drop back. Stutter step, lets it go. What an arrow. Pass caught for a first down at the 20 yard line. Just Zarek Peterson, they've got a history coming into the game together, playing for Iowa. What a laser right there. He's going to read the coverage to the front side and understand it's a zone. They're squatting with too high over the top, and he's able to laser it in there to his former teammate, now new teammate here in Barrier for a great gain and a good first down. Played together at Iowa and in Tucson. When Peterson thought about Sonny, he called up Neil and said, hey, let's do this. First down from the 20. Shane Simpson for a couple running left. Running behind Sharp and Davis. And see, that might not look like much, a one, one and a half, two yard gain, but what it does is it 
keeps you honest. It keeps pressure off of Neal when it, with the passing game. It makes Arizona understand now the zone read comes into play, play action comes into play off of that. So it might not seem like too much with, since it's only a two-yard game, but trust me, later on in the ball game, that, that's going to come and have a big factor in what's going on, what's called. Second down from the 18-yard line. Williams and Simpson wide left. JT Stokes inside the 10. Got that off barely in the nick of time. Game of inches. That could have been a fumble Arizona ball going the other way. Fortunate for Bay Area. Stokes is able to reel it in and then get upfield and get positive yards to get a first down. JT became really a factor in the running game towards the end of last season. Remember the game against San Diego? He had five touchdowns. Three receiving and two on the ground. Maybe he became the Bay Area Panther Swiss Army knife as the season progressed. That effort earning him the IFL Offensive Player of the Week. First down from the nine-yard line. Shane Simpson dragged down by Merriweather at the eight. Merriweather, veteran, reads it, sits in there, stays in the box, waits for the running back to get the ball, make sure it's not quarterback run up the lead, up the middle like on a power read, does a great job coming through and getting underneath for the tackle, and that's Merriweather's been a, been a staple in Coach Guy's defense for years. The sixth year and the 2019 IFL Defensive Player of the Year. Second down, just outside the eight. Neal takes the shotgun snap. Daquan keeps it himself and into the end zone. Knocking over a defender, bouncing off Dobbs like a bowling pin and into the end zone for a Bay Area touchdown. He is so punishing as a runner. We were down on the field earlier before the game started. And I remember telling you, I didn't realize how big Daquan was. He's a big specimen and he's physical and likes to contact. Kind of like Dalton Sneed last year. They like to contact. They know what's asked of them in this offense. And for his second touchdown of the night, a punishing one on Dobbs, give, gives himself some confidence. That left arm, get off me. 6'2", <laughs> 215 pounds. Peterson wide left. 5.38 to play in the first half. Daquan Neal to the house in Bay Area with a 10-point lead in San Jose. We're coming back. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. You've been on for too long, online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost, where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Jaquan Neal with a pair of rushing touchdowns and Bay Area's on top, 20 to 10. Dave Lewis and Steve Papa from the SAP Center. Happy Easter, everybody. Glad you're here for the season opener. Panthers celebrating an IFL championship. I wouldn't be surprised here, DL, if a surprise onside kick or an onside kick was to happen. Just playing the, 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 the game of odds with five minutes to go, Arizona getting the ball back. You try and steal another possession from him here. Uh, it would be interesting to see what Coach Wooten and Coach uh, Keith come up with here. Extremely low point total for the Rattlers. Last year at 55 points a game, tops in the IFL. Swipper. Fielded by Miles at the 10. Jamal spilled at the 22 yard line. Good job here, Panthers kickoff team 
getting down, making sure nothing gets squeezed after the squib, because you kind of know with a squib, you don't know what's, what's going to happen, where he's going to end up, how the return's going to be. And Tomas does a good job of getting banged around in there and then making sure he gets Miles down to the turf. Just got a message from James Booby, the announcer at Northern Arizona, following the game today. Coloring eggs. <laughs> of course, rooting on Northern Arizona does a great job. He and, of course, Ed Cole. Yes, they do. Longtime voices of Naz. This is Odom, turns the corner, has his first down, second level and more, down to the 11-yard line and a first down for the Rattlers. I'm telling you, the more and more I see this young man run the football, he reminds me of Clinton Portis. And Ryrie does a great job of getting outside, getting north and south, getting up and down the field, not trying to do too much, securing the ball. Good job of Grant pursuing the play from the backside and getting the tackle before Odom was able to sneak into the end zone. Filling in for Shannon Brooks and doing some heavy lifting in the running game. Ball spotted on the 11 yard line. First down Rattlers. Take the handoff to Odom. Brown keeps it himself. Nothing there. Morris Joseph out of Auburn making the stop. Throwing up his cue dog from the fraternity he was in uh, after the great tackle right there on Brown for a minimal gain, if any. Second down. About 10 to go. Rattlers one and one. Playing a team in their first game for the third consecutive week. Lorenzo Brown juggles, gets it back, dumps it short. Pass caught by Odom, nailed by Kincaid inside the 10. I tell you what, Coach Keith is doing an outstanding job with his defense today. He's playing, mixing it up between man, man under, a little bit of zone. That looked like a full-on zone, and Brown thought he was going to have Odom sneaking out of the backside, and he snuck right into the zone coverage. Great job by this Barrier Panthers defense of keeping everything in front of them and attacking their zones. Third down from the nine. First down marker just inside the two. Miles in loop motion. Brown, pump fake. Has it short, picked off. Tyler Watson. Now ruled incomplete. They got to they challenge that one, Gio. That was an interception. He caught that ball. They got to challenge that one. Coach Keith's got a challenge out when they got a short on the big board so he gets a chance to see it. He's peeking at the replay, and that's tough. Oh, very close. Should have got up and started running. May have hit the ground. Did he get his hands underneath it? And with all these different rules and different games and different organizations, that, that's tough. And I, I get it why Coach Keefe doesn't take the challenge. It's still a half a stop. Evans will try the field goal. 24-yarder. Garrett Kettle, the holder. Evans. Knocks it in. Half stop. Cut the lead to a seven point spread. 20 to 13, Bay Area on top. Get ready for an onside kick here. I saw Coach Keith running in, trying to get his hands team ready because this is where Coach Guy gets the ball back at halftime, so he wants to go two for one here on a possession. Just the fact that it was fourth down influenced your decision on whether to challenge there or not. Say, hey, we might get the half stop anyway and not challenge that interception. Yeah, I think so. And then I think Coach Keith looked at the big screen and saw what everybody else saw, like you and I saw. It, it wasn't clear enough to say it was an interception or not. So to get that, to waste the challenge and lose a timeout right there, I think it's a half a stop. Let them kick it. You've been playing great defensively and offensively. You haven't been stopped. So take the half stop, which now gives you a full stop because that's two, and move on. 
guy the master in terms of possessions and onside kicking and when to do it, when not to do. What about here? Yeah, you got. If you're Arizona, you got an onside kick it because you haven't stopped this offense once. So what you want to do though, DL, is you want the kick to be a squibber. You want to get it inside the 10 yard line so that way Beria only has four plays. So then you can go two for one. Here we go. Here's your squib. Taken by the Panthers at the seven yard line. Not your first rodeo. Cromwell <laughs> on the recovery. You know, that was in a game last night I watched with Tucson and, and, and Northern Arizona. Last night, I, I believe Tucson should have did the same thing. Onside kick it instead of kicking it deep and, and, and putting it in, in Northern Arizona's hands to win the game. Here, same thing. Coach Guy figures you kick it deep, you might not see the ball again. Here, you're guaranteed you're going to get the ball the, the last possession of the game unless Bay Area scores and then onside kicks you. Panthers from the seven. That even worked out a little bit better because now you got four downs from the four-yard line and you have your timeout, so you're guaranteeing yourself getting this you ball back. better for Arizona. Yes, yes, definitely for Arizona. Even though the Panthers get it closer. Yes. Not exactly that mind-blowing end of the second quarter we saw last year in Arizona when no team could be stopped. Daquan Neal lets it go. Pass caught to the near boards. J.T. Stokes. Mr. Referee goes down, but signals complete catch out of bounds. Good job. Bounces right back up. Looks like he's been in the gym a little bit to withstand that hit from Stokes on the, on the, on the flat route. JT deals with that wall as anybody, as well as anybody in the IFL. Of course, that great catch at Northern Arizona, scaling the wall. One of the plays of the year. From the one, they run the option, and Simpson bounces off a of one, but dragged down at the four. Never had a chance. Yeah, they did a great job here of stringing it out, this time on the speed option and making Daquan pitch it, and Simpson had no chance with all the white jerseys running to him. Merriweather, Lowry among the tacklers for the Rattlers. Mentioned last year's game, remember in Phoenix, Pap, the final 125 of the half, six touchdowns were scored. There's the one minute warning. We'll take the break, come back for the final 60 seconds of the half in just a moment. Panthers on top, 20 to 13 here in San Jose. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Ball spotted on the three. Rattlers still with three timeouts remaining. Panthers with three as well. 60 seconds left in the half. Three receivers left. Simpson off the left hip of Daquan Neal. Play action. Daquan surveys. Pump fake. In the end zone. Touchdown. Three, Daquan Neal, rushing scores. Just too physical. Just a physical specimen. I mean, they, Arizona did a great job in the secondary of covering the receivers, but Daquan just figures, hey, let me tuck it down and go get six points. In this early season, Arizona has been susceptible to the quarterback run. I asked Dixie about that. He said, I'm not going to run him any more than we normally do just take what the defense gives us Peterson's point 
is true. But Arizona's still with three timeouts left and plenty of time to work with. Yeah, and that's, Co Coach Guy knew that was going to happen. That's why he did it. If you can get the stop there or make them kick a field goal, it's a bonus. But you were basically giving up the touchdown in order for yourself to get it back because if you kicked it deep and you go to the score halftime 27-13, to 13, you're in some trouble. Coach Guy's hoping to go to the halftime 27-20, to 20, and Arizona gets the ball coming out of halftime. 53 seconds remaining. We might not have Marshawn in the, in the in the building, but Mama Lynch is down there having That's a good right. time in the front row. Celebrating the unveiling of the championship banner. Real nice gesture having Roy Choi have Dalton Sneed come out to be a part of that. They don't win the title without Sneed's effort last year. And it, it, it just goes back to character and, and personification. You look at the franchise that was here before. Everything was done above board professionally. Barrier Panthers have taken over that and trying to, you know, make it as professional and, and be that professional organization that was here uh, before them. Remarkable turnaround from 1-15 in 15 to winning it all. And that's why I say Deion Sanders ain't done nothing because they're just playing. <laughs> I just get caught up in that. Like, they, they get so excited about what Deion did, but he didn't do it with his guys. He brought in his own, and they went 4-8. and eight. Coach Keith brought in his guys, and they won a championship. There's the onside kick. The Panthers tried. Now the Rattlers get it at the 10. Same strategy, correct? Yeah. Now, what, what they did right there, now Arizona's got four downs to score. Bay Area's got three touchdowns. Coach Keith's philosophy is going to be they're going to get the ball back with some time on the clock to go score. It's always that two-for-one deal. The Panthers did have a shot at that split kick at the 10. Here on the opener, winning a dramatic game, 47-46, with Hungerford turning back the two-point try. First half from the 10, Lorenzo Brown slight loss Keith takes a timeout running on the field going into almost a catcher's crouch to call that T.O. Yeah, an interesting thing if you're coach guy you got to get in here field goal really does you no good you got to score seven points if you throw the ball and it's incomplete you save barrier from using all their timeouts so that's something I'm sure he's over there discussing with Cy Burley in the headsets about what to call, what's looking good, because if you get it incomplete and you save Bay Area from using their timeouts, they are definitely going to get the ball back on the last possession. A chance to really add on going into the locker room. We mentioned Justin Rankin, part of the ceremony. Justin's coming to buy the visit at the half and talk about his move to the CFL. Had a remarkable season with the Panthers last year. He was great the season before with Frisco. Yeah, he's definitely one of the, the all-time greats that have played the game and played it at such a high level and really took the game serious. Hey, Very important for him to be a part of what's going on today. Miles in loop motion. Let it go. Pass caught for a touchdown. Daytona Jackson wanted a penalty. And not getting it. Glenn Gibbons Jr. on the receiving end. I get it. You're in the league where you got to score and you score points, but I don't think I would have scored that early because now Coach Guy is going to be in a dilemma. If you onside kick it again, you're definitely giving up points. You got to kick it deep here and hope that your defense can, can get a stop in the final 39 seconds. One play, 11 yards on that quote drive. Brown to Gibbons. And the point after is good. A lot can happen in the final 60 seconds of an indoor football league game. Now 27-20. I believe Arizona has to kick this one deep. I know you were still you, you wanted to play for the for the, the two for one DL, but I believe with 39 seconds, you have to trust that your defense, who's had two games under their belt already and a half under their belt, can stop Bay Area in 39 seconds from going to length in the field for a touchdown. You might give up a field goal, but that, that's okay in this situation. What you cannot have happen if you're Arizona is giving up a touchdown. And if you're Bay Area, what you got to do is 
protect the ball. If you get the ball, go down. Don't try for the extra yards because you don't want to give Arizona the ball back and momentum going into halftime when they get the ball. If you're on defense in some of these situations, do you ever just let them score? Sometimes you would, yeah. In this one, no, because of the simple fact the only way you would let them score is if you onside kicked it and Bay Area gets it. So then you want the last possession. But I believe Coach Guy has to kick this one deep and then just trust his defense to get a stop. Dawson Evans to kick it away. This time, Jazeric Peterson deep to return it for Bay Area. Jazeric, four yards deep. This is Peterson. Spins away. And taken down at the 10 yard line. 35 seconds left. Panthers, two timeouts. That was the three. Yeah, that was his first touch on special teams. Sorry about that, Joe. That was the kickoff. With, it's a safe. Everybody's going to run down and get to the 20, 20, 15 yard line and just stop and let the receiver get to him so that way there's no broken play for a touchdown. Coach Wooten talking to Daquan Neal. Look at the transformation of Dixie Wooten physically. He's done a great job with his body in the offseason. Like the players have, he says, hey, it's about fruit, it's about vegetables. Get the protein when I can. Taking care of himself looks amazing. From the 10, Daquan Neal. Pump fake. Takes off. First down across midfield. He has been the Panthers' top weapon so far. 27 seconds remaining. Arizona's done a great job in the secondary. Those are, those are, you hear coverage sacks, those are coverage scrambles because they're doing a good job of covering the receivers. 25 yard line. 15 yard pickup for Neal. The former MVP. The only player ever to do it as a rookie playing for Dixie Wooten in Iowa. Rookie of the year and the MVP. And, this, and I believe, didn't they win the championship that year as well? Did not win the did championship. They did not that year, okay. 2018, Dixie won it. 18, okay. And that was with Drew Powell as the quarterback. Ah, gotcha. No, Dixie's doing a great, great job. Not, not trying to do too much, not getting crazy with, with, with the play calling. Arizona's playing a, a, a loose zone coverage, and as you see, Daquan's runs are all coming off of scrambles because, like on that last one, Yates, the defensive lineman, ran him down opposed to a secondary guy. 27 seconds left. Panthers one timeout remaining. Rattlers with three. Neil pump fake, comes back near side. Shane Simpson. They call him Sugar, and he takes it to the 24-yard line, loss of one. Coach Wooden's not going to be too upset of that one. Sugar Shane should have stayed up the sideline. <laughs> that, that screen is meant to go right up the sideline from, from the, from the, from the uh, dasher boards to the number. That play isn't to cut back across the grain. You have no help over there. That's a quick hitter that you get up the sideline and get out of bounds. When you think of Sugar Shane, you think of Sugar Shane Mosley, the yeah. boxer. <laughs> well, this Sugar eats Sour Patch Kids before every game. Sour Patch Candy is Sugar Fix. Sugar Fix, yeah. Well, Sugar Sugar should have stayed against that wall and got out of bounds so Coach wouldn't, wouldn't have to waste the time out on that one. Back to the 24-yard line. Second down, 11 to go. 18 seconds to play. Panthers, no timeouts remaining. Rattlers with three. Yeah, see here, Dio, you, know, you didn't use your timeout, so now nothing really in the middle of the field. Everything has to be towards the sideline or to the end zone. Anything tackled in, in the field of play, not to the first down stick, that clock is going to run, and you may run out of time. You got enough here for two plays, but you got to make sure you get to the boards. Second down from the 24. Daquan Neal looks near boards. JT Stokes nailed, hangs on to it at the 20 yard line. Panthers got a hurry, no timeouts left. Clock down to 10. Now down to five. They'll spike it with three seconds remaining. 
That was interesting. When Stoke got the ball and got tackled, it had 14 seconds. That was 11 seconds they ran off that took you to spike the ball. They, they got to have a better plan than that. It's gotta, you got to be able to save yourself because I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain Coach Wooten wanted one more play to take a shot before kicking this or trying this field goal attempt. They'll go with Craig the leg. Remember, Pap, last year the Panthers had seven kickers. Peterson was the seventh, and he came in. He goes, "There's not going to be eight. <laughs> he says, "I'm the guy," and he has been the guy. He's been. He's, he's stayed true to his word. Thirty-five yard try. Plenty of leg. Wide to the left, and that closes out the half. Panthers on top, 27 to 20. We'll get a chance to visit with the coach as he runs off the field. Bottling up this very explosive Rattlers offense that has been sputtering over the course of the last couple weeks without Dalton Sneed. Dalton set to come back and take on San Diego after the bye. Meanwhile, the Panthers will head to the road to take on Jacksonville next week for the first time. Coach Keith putting on the headsets. And we're with the coach. Half Halftime lead of 27-20, and with Coach Keefe, what'd you like so far in the first half? Hey, we're, hey, we're flying around, we're being aggressive. I mean, I think that's what it's all about, uh, playing a really good team in Arizona. Uh, but, you know, I like what we have. I think the biggest thing is, hey, a lot of little mistakes, we got to clean them up, but it's one heck of a football game for our first We appreciate game. your time, Coach. Go talk with your team. All right, you got it. Daquan Neal, three rushing scores. Setting the tone. We're at the half in San Jose. A 27-20 Bay Area lead. We're coming back. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Every day is game day. Off my third contract, you still on that same play. Lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back. Look, I'm gonna ride for my people. And once I take the stage, I'ma start like evil can evil. I built the conquer heights. My mind's a daily defeated. When once I get my first ring, I'm manifesting the sequel. Yo, this the IFL. Swear to many, come here as an enemy. Are you ready for that? From the beginning, Marowest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Marowest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Marowest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Marowest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers indoor football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. We're at the half the Bay Area Panthers and the Arizona Rattlers and a lot to do for Panther fans this year. We'll take a peek at our theme nights throughout this 2024 season. Coming up the next home game, April 20th, a couple of road ones before coming back. It'll be Marvel Night against the San Diego Strike Force, May 4th. Bring your Star Wars game here to the house as it's the Vegas Nighthawks, May 25th. It'll be a showdown with the San Antonio Gunslingers Military Appreciation Night. On June 8th, the Tucson Sugar Skulls will 
faced the Panthers on Nickelodeon night and of course Bay Area scored to settle. That was their one home loss a year ago. Eight and one on this field. The one loss coughing up a 16 point lead and losing to Tucson. June 16th, Superhero Day. Another game against San Diego and they say if familiarity breeds contempt, those two teams will be sick of each other. They score off four times over the course of the regular season. Then the final home game, July 7th against Northern Arizona, Margaritaville night. Wasting away again as Bay Area will play on this field for the final time. Only in the regular season, they hope, of course, a chance to play some home games on this field. We'll come back with more from the SAP Center right after this. From the beginning, Meriwest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Meriwest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Meriwest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Meriwest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. At the half, the Panthers are on top of Arizona 27-20. Joined by former Panther running back Justin Rankin. Yes, Don't always like saying that, but in this case, it's a good thing. Yeah. Welcome back, young man. Yeah, it's good. It's a little different, you know, be looking at it from the sideline, but it's still a great experience, and I love watching the guys play, man. They, they got a good team this year. I'm excited to watch them for the rest of the season. I remember talking to you in the offseason and saying, hey, I'll be there for the opener. Yeah. Why is it so important for you to be here tonight? Uh, I mean, shoot, in, in my career, this is my first championship. So, you know, it was, it was exciting, and, uh, you know, I wanted to see the banner be dropped, and um, I wanted to be a part of uh, uh, the first home opener, you know, this year with the guys here and the, um, the championship, the banner drop, the trophy, all of it. You know, I wanted to see it all in person. And the reason you're an ex-Panther is that now you're 
playing in Canada. Tell me about that, how it went down. We did a podcast talking about it, yeah. but you mentioned, I believe, the coach of Vegas, Mike Davis, had something to do with that. Yeah, he, he actually helped me out a lot. You know, um, he got some good connections over there. You know, I know he was uh, coaching over there before, so he kind of just, you know, reached out to me and uh, connected us, and the rest was kind of history from there. So I appreciate him. You know, shout out to Coach Davis. He's a great guy. I remember you giving me a Bible verse to talk about the patience and being able to, to hang in yeah. there. That faith has been a big part of your journey. Yeah, yeah, it has been a huge part. Um, you know, and it's crazy because before the whole CFL transaction, I went to a men's retreat with my father. And at that men's retreat, you know, a, a lot of things were said that just it helped me have some clarification on my journey and make sure that I was just staying the course and, you know, trusting my journey and not worrying about what everybody else had going on. Now, you had some times during your journey that you wondered if you were going to continue, though, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, um, every year, you know, I kind of just sit down and, you know, I got to just make sure that that my, my mindset is still right to be able to continue to do this. You know, I think that's a, a huge thing that, that, that guys need to, you know, do is make sure the mental, their mindset is um, in a good place to be able to continue and pursue football at the level that we're playing. How much is having little Justin being a motivator for you? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, I mean, shoot, I had him my freshman year, so... You know, me and him, we, we, we go way back. You know, we've been six years rocking strong, and that's my guy. So, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm being a good role model for him always. Hey, last year, Justin, the team started off slowly below 500 after losing to Tucson on this field. Yeah. At what point did you feel like, hey, you know what? We could do something really special. We could do what? Something really special. Oh, I mean, I, I knew that before before the, that Tucson loss, before the Arizona game, you know, during camp. During camp, I knew that we was going to be a special team. And, you know, them first them first four to five games, I try to tell guys, like, obviously we don't want to lose, but let's not harp on those first four to five games because we got a long season ahead of us. What do you think about playing outside in the cold? Uh, I can't wait. I don't care if it's cold, <laughs> hot, yeah. sleet, snow. I don't care. I'm, I'm excited. I just want to be back outside in a big field. Exactly. Do, yeah. do, you, do you train any differently? Get your body ready differently than a big uh, field outdoors than indoors? Conditioning. I definitely condition a lot harder. You know, um, that field is a little bigger, so I just got to make sure that I'm in shape for that field because obviously it's not a 50-yard field. But, you know, when it comes to training, really the biggest thing is the conditioning. Um, that's, that's the biggest difference. Uh, again, this is still pro football, so these guys train just like, you know, the NFL, CFL, XFL, USFL, just like those guys do. Just in terms of how much running you got to do because the yep. maximum you're going to run is 50 yards. Yep. Yeah, to me that's the biggest difference is the, in terms of your conditioning. But if you even, even in this, you know, you should still be conditioning like you're getting ready for outside because, you know, you can get that call at any moment. You're looking good, young man. It's great seeing you. I appreciate you. you. Yes, sir. Thank you for having Former me. Former Panthers yes, running sir. back now in Canada with Edmonton, correct? Yeah, Edmonton. Yes, sir. We'll be following you. Appreciate yes, your sir. time. Appreciate you. That's Justin Rankin. Let's we'll go. be back with more after this on the Panthers Network. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. 
Every day is game day. Off my third contract, you still on that same play. Lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back, but I'm gonna ride for my people. And once I take the stage, I'ma start like evil can evil. I built the conquer heights. My mind's a daily defeat. And once I get my first ring, I'm manifesting the sequel. Yo, this the eye of the swear to many come heroes and in the Panthers christening their brand new season in 2024. By the way, one other game to update you on before we get to the standings. Vegas leads Jacksonville 24-12. That game at the half. Look at the Western Conference. San Diego could be a surprise team this year. Of course, Nate Davis can really sling it all over. Vegas at 1-0 after their win over the Rattlers. Arizona 1-1. Naz at 1-1. Of course, Les Miles always get these young players peaking by the end of the year. Duke City 0-2. San Antonio ready to start their season. Tucson at 0-1. Panthers on top, 27-20 over Arizona. We're coming back. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost, where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill, that's more like it. Every day is game day, off my third contract, you still on that same play. Lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back, look, I'm gonna ride for my people. And once I take the stage, I'ma start like evil can evil. I built the conquer heights, my mind's a daddy defeated. When once I get my first ring, I'm manifesting the sequel. Yo, this the eye of the, swear to many, come heroes in the end. Are you ready for the end? From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. Give you a peek at the upcoming schedule. The first road test next week against the Jacksonville Sharks, the NAL champions, joining the IFL in this 2024 season. Then a road game at Tucson after the Jacksonville game. The next home game will be coming up on the 20th against San Diego, the first of four meetings on the year with the strike force. At the half, the Panthers are on top of Arizona 27-20. Back with more from the SAP Center right after this. Track. You still on that same play, lying harder, but I got the eye of an eagle. I put the city on my back, look, I'm gonna ride for my people. And once I take the stage, I'ma start like evil can evil. I built the conquer heights, my mind's a daddy defeated. When once I get my first ring, I'm manifesting the sequel. Yo, this the eye of the, swear to many, come heroes in the end. Are you ready for the end? From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Game time. 
The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Welcome back to San Jose. Panthers getting ready for the second half. Leading Arizona 27 to 20. Bay Area the number one team in the coaches poll. Arizona the preseason number two coming in. But one on one coming off a loss to Vegas. I'm Dave Lewis alongside Steve Pappen. What'd you like and what'd you see need to, need to clean up in the second half? I really enjoyed the way offense was efficient uh they were able to run the ball able to throw the ball we haven't seen the deep shots but they still looked efficient coming off of last year into this year and then i was very impressed with the defense keeping everything in front of them making brown make some some, some tough decisions and forcing half stops twice in that first half rather team averaging 55 points a game a year ago held to 20 in the opening half buying time until dalton sneed is ready to go Next week, a bye, then home to take on San Diego. Dalton told me before the game, hey, I'll be ready by then. Yeah, and the thing about that San Diego one is you touched on a bear, plays them four times. They're not a team that's going to – it used to be you play San Diego, you got to win. Now San Diego is a team that can very well win this league or this division over here. This, this, this west side is, is going to be tough for each and every team. You know, Dixie said, hey, look out for Vegas. Now they got hurt as Chin calling the offense – and letting Mike Davis focus on what he does best defensively so the positions are more defined with some good talent there. And that's already evident because that Vegas team beat uh, Arizona already. So I think when you look at Bay Area, Arizona, Northern Arizona, I mean Tucson, Northern Arizona, San Diego, Vegas, this side over here, it's, it's, it's not going to be clear cut. You're going to have to play your A game every time, every opponent. Yeah, for Vegas, Jerron Johnson was terrific last week in the win over the Rattlers. Three rushing touchdowns, 116 yards on the ground. For the Panthers, four rushing scores, three from Daquan Neal, and one from Sugar Shane, Sugar Shane Simpson. Sugar Shane, yeah, and that's one thing, like, when you talk to Coach Wooten, he doesn't care how the scores come. If he scores eight on the ground or seven in the air, as long as at the end of the night you're efficient and you win the ball game, that's all that matters. He was talking about using the deep ball. Hey, we're going to throw a bunch of bombs against them, and it turned out to be four rushing scores. And I think that's because both of these teams are playing real loose zone coverages, trying to keep everything in front of them. Jamal Miles back to return the kick. Craig the leg. Peterson to bang it away. And of S-U-N-Y, Cortland. Miles, former ASU Sun Devil, chopped down at the 10-yard line. Number 24, Tyler Watson. Good coverage right there by Watson getting down there. He was actually blocked in the back by Odom and still was able to make the tackle on Miles for a minimal gain on that return. Tyler Watson, rookie from East Stroudsburg. Ball spotted on the 11. Lorenzo Brown still at quarterback. Three-time IFL champion. In fact, was the MVP of the United Bowl and a win over the Rattlers playing for Sioux Falls. Ball from the 11. This is Miles, jet sweep. Takes it to the 16. Five-yard pickup. Second down at five. I kind of thought you were going to get that on opening, the opening play out of the halftime. Either that or a quick hitch. Just to get some rhythm going and make sure you stay above the, in front of the sticks because this is what Coach Guy played for. He played for getting the ball coming out of halftime to have the opportunity to go tie the game up. You don't want to play from behind the sticks and you don't want to have a turnover here if you're Arizona. Antoine Kincaid making the tackle for Bay Area. 
Second down and five. Panthers on top, 27-20. The 2024 season opener from the SAP Center in San Jose. Brown says go. Keeps it himself. The veteran near midfield. Lorenzo only practiced a couple days last week before getting some significant run against Vegas. Still got the legs. Yeah, and, and, and that's a veteran, you know, not trying to do too much, gets what he can, gets down. Kincaid comes in from the boundary to make a good tackle on him. But, but again, first down coming out of halftime, two efficient plays, more, more, re, uh, less reward, more, ri I mean, more, less r r risk, more reward with the plays right there. So coach guy's doing a good job. First down for the Arizona 24. Play action, Brown takes a deep shot. Has a man out there, Gibbons, GG, and an Arizona touchdown. Last week, a touchdown reception, and the loss to Vegas reaches the end zone here early in the third period. Yeah, what he did is he got Cromwell turned around. He acts like he's going to go post, double move them, stabs post, takes a couple steps, and then goes back to the corner. And Brown, I mean, perfect ball, put it where only his receiver is going to be able to catch the ball. And Cromwell just got confused, got kind of stayed in his back foot a little bit too long and then didn't flip the hips. Three plays, 39 yards, 26-yard completion. Brown to Gibbons. Evans knocks through the point after. All square at 27. And no 12.38 to play in the third. No need to panic. You're, if you're Bay Area, you still hold the upper hand. You still have the one possession ahead of them. So no need to panic. And again, it wasn't anything bad. You're going to make some good plays, some bad plays. Cromwell just, I, it, it almost looked like he guessed on the post and then got sucked into the post and the receiver went to the corner and Brown laid it up perfectly. For Brown, his second touchdown pass as a member of the Rattlers. Last week, 10 out of 14 for a buck 20 and one score in the loss to Vegas. Now Watch. a chance for the Panthers to respond. Watching Gibbons, D.L., just, it takes me back 20 years ago when Hunky Cooper used to rock that 14 and make plays like that throughout his illustrious career in, in the Arena Football League. And Gibbons does a great job of, of getting the defender turn, keeping his angle high, and then getting a touchdown for Arizona after halftime. Last time I checked, Hunky was coaching at San Diego State. He's actually in UNLV right now coaching, and I, and I want to say he may be the associate athletic director now. This is Tomas from the goal line. Joshua, the former Georgetown star, makes one miss. Bounces outside, and Tomas takes it to the 19-yard line. Chance for the Panthers to take the lead. Good return right there by Tomas. I mean, Arizona had some struggles in their first game against Northern Arizona on special teams. I, I believe it was two kick returns for touchdowns against them. So I'm sure over the last couple of weeks, that's one thing that Coach Guy has made a priority in practice is making sure special teams is able to get down and cover the ball without giving up touchdown. First down Bay Area. From the 19, Daquan Neal sends two and forward motion. Here comes the blitz. Daquan lets it go. Pass is caught. Shane Simpson. Sugar to the 23-yard line of Arizona. Sugar Simpson's in. He was a stationary receiver right there, and I haven't seen that route in a long time. He used to be one in the Arena 2 League that coaches used to run, which was called hitch switch. Both receivers run hitches. They just switch where their landing parts uh, spots are, and Sugar Shane... Gets open for the for the first I mean for the first down catch and put him in second and short. Simpson now to the right hip of Neal. Two and forward motion to the right. Hand to Sugar Shane Simpson. Takes it to the 21 yard line. Close to the first down. See where they spot it. Just got it. Had 5,000 yards playing for Towson before transferring to Virginia, finishing up as a Cavalier. Love the coaching style of Bronco Mendenhall. 
That was me and you. That was one thing you and I were worried about this year is who's going to place replace Rankin and how's that run game going to look and hasn't missed a beat so far in, in, in this ball game. First half of the 21. Simpson now split to the bottom of your screen. Three receivers left. Daquan Neal looks left. Pierre Williams, the former Sac State Hornet, takes it to the 13-yard line. Had a great career playing for Troy Taylor. It was a part of three Big Sky championships. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it's, it's like, like artwork if you watch Dixie. I mean, you see all these different mo motions and shifts, but what he's doing is he's getting his receivers in the best situation against maybe not the best DB, or he's, di he's dictating what coverage Arizona's going to go to by the motions and the shifts. Second down from the 14. Simpson in the backfield. Play action. Daquan low bit and deflected. Almost picked off Merriweather. Got a hand on it. Underthrowing JT Stokes. And that's just lack of repetition, lack of game time. He's got to put that one out, up and over in front of Stokes, and that would have been an easy six points. Penalty on Bay Area. Looks like a hold. I, I think he said umpire's pick again, Dio. We've seen that two or three times. See, and I think that's why Dixie's so adamant at it. Because they're saying Stokes picked the, the umpire. But is that a 15-yard penalty? Pretty severe to bring it back all the way to the 21-yard line of Bay Area. From the Arizona 21 to the Panther 21. Got to be smart here and not turn the ball over, trying to get it all back in one play. You, you got two for sure. Your second and your third down, depending on how close you get it, if you're going to go for it on fourth. Don't try and get it all back here on second. Second and 18. Daquan dropping back on play action. A lot of time, takes a deep shot and overshoots his man back of the end zone. Intended for Peterson. Just what you're talking about, not trying to get it all back at once. Yeah, and I think they were going to try and hit a dig route over here against the wall, and Arizona did a great job in the zone coverage to take that away, and Daquan tries and force it down the field. Luckily, it was high and overthrown. No one had a chance at it, but now you're in a third and extremely long, so now is the play call to get you close for fourth down, or do you make a play call here that says, let's set up our field goal kicker? Neal, 8 out of 12 for 62 yards. Didn't get it off in time. Back him up 5. Now 3rd and 23. And now that makes it a little bit difficult here. When you're, when you're figuring, if you're thinking, if you get an incomplete pass, now your field goal just became 5 yards longer with that clock, that scoreboard hanging down the middle, could possibly playing a factor in, in the trajectory of the kick. Panthers two for four on third down. Daquan sends two in forward motion. Quarterback draw, and Neal takes off. Gets a big chunk of it. Down inside the 20 to the 18. Third. Yeah, see, by, by them staying on the field with their offense, that was strictly to set up a close fourth down play. Knowing Coach Guy and this Rattler team was going to play a loose zone, have Daquan get as many yards as he can. Now you set up here a fourth and about seven or six. And not messing around with a field goal. Got to get to the 11 for the first down. Three receivers left. Simpson shifts from left to right. Daquan says go. Here comes the blitz. Pass to the end zone, and we'll check for the flag. None. Pass intended for Stokes. And the Rattlers come up with a stop. Uh, you don't want to hear this, but it could have been a penalty, but I see why it wasn't called. That ball was way out of the way. I don't think Stokes would have got there anyway. We'll take the timeout, 7.32 to play third period. Rattlers now play for the lead when we come back.
you've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. It's the pass interference that wasn't PAP. Fans here at the SAP Center didn't like the call, but you think it was right. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I mean, it, it could have went both ways. I'm not I'm not upset that they didn't call it. The ball was, to me, was uncatchable, and Stokes wasn't in a, in a position to go make that play. Let them play. It's got to be a physical ball game. Let them play. Now a chance for the Rattlers to take the lead from their 18-yard line. Tied at 27. Lorenzo Brown's gone the entire way. Was on his couch about a week and a half ago. He'll keep it himself. Lorenzo Brown, stutter step, make one miss. Take it to the 20-yard line. Gain of two. Second down and eight into the teeth of that Panthers defense. Yeah, Coach Guys, you know, doing a little bit of little, little, little things differently here in the second half with some runs, some deep balls, and he's just trying to trying to get his his veteran quarterback some rhythm and get him Get him some easy throws, some easy runs, because he knows this game is going to come down to the fourth quarter. Looking to put his team in position to win. Winner of three United Bulls, two NAIA national titles, playing for Sioux Falls. Brown, pass complete to Miles, cross midfield. Sets up third and short. Miles in his seventh year, all with the Rattlers. Tell you what, this Bay Area Panthers secondary is extremely physical. And then when you get Bowers coming out of the box, makes it even more physical. They like to put, put the paws on these receivers. So far, not a lot of pressure on Brown, though. No, the, the old line for Arizona's done a great job. Third and two. Odom has the first down. Keep those legs churning. Looking needed at two, picked up three and a half. Kincaid holding on by the ankles. I was just going to say, looking at the bottom, it looks like it's Kincaid, and it's like he's been on several tackles this evening, coming from the backside, making tackles on receivers and running backs. Kincaid, a member of the IFL All Rookie Team last season. He was not on the squad when the year began when Atkins got hurt. That paved the way for Kincaid to make a difference. And he's never looked back. Once he once he made it onto the roster and onto the field, he hasn't come off. And he's been an integral part in this defense winning championship last year and the start of this season. First down, Rattlers from the 20. Lorenzo Brown. Almost intercepted Joe Fouché going horizontal to knock it loose. His DB coach down at LSU is going to be upset because they're known as DBU. He's got to come up with that ball. Does a great job laying out, diving for it. Just comes up a little bit short. Would have definitely been a momentum changer. Played at both Arkansas and LSU. In fact, won that rivalry game playing for each school. The battle for the boot. Won one for Arkansas and also won at LSU. 
One of two players only to ever do that. Oh, wow. Second down from the 20. Brown keeps it himself. Flag is thrown. Ball taken inside the 15-yard line. Keith says it's on Arizona. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to begin to guess on what this is going to be or who it's going to be on. I don't have a clue on this one. P.J. Tofalele made the tackle for the Panthers. Daytona Jackson. Defensive hold on Daytona Jackson. Very rare you see defensive holding from a defensive lineman. I can understand the secondary guy, but right there it gives Arizona a first down, and now they're knocking on the door to take their first lead of the ball game. Tofalele, Grant, and Jackson, the front three for the Panthers. Ball spotted on the seven. Lorenzo Brown, quick hitter, hold everything. Pass intended for Miles. False start on the Rattlers. That'll back them up five. Voice of a referee, Ken Ray. It's hard to imagine Arizona is 12 yards away from taking the lead here when it seems like Bay Area has dominated the whole ball game from start to, to the point where we're at right now. And it's, it's, it's unimaginable that Arizona's actually going to, has an opportunity right now to take over and take control of this ball game. Relying on the arm and the legs of their veteran quarterback, Lorenzo Brown. From the 12, Brown, pump fake to the back of the end zone. Caught by Gibbons again for a touchdown. Glenn, second of the third quarter, and Arizona has the lead. Gibbons does a good job here of just running with the old school sail route into the corner uh, from a short side of the field. And Brown does a great job of throwing the ball as he comes out of his break, rounds it off, gets it up against the wall, secures it, gives Arizona their first lead of the night. Fan favorite at Northern Arizona. Time is a Wrangler. He's certainly on his way to becoming a big favorite with the Rattlers. Dawson Evitz. Nailed it. Clock stops. 2.37 to play. And Arizona has taken the lead for the first time. Glenn Gibbons. From the beginning, Meriwest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Meriwest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Meriwest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Meriwest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers indoor football. Enjoy the game. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Lorenzo Brown with plenty of gas in the tank. Coming out of retirement to lead his team to the lead. Arizona on top of the Panthers, 34-27. Brown has brought a lot to the table. 
Yeah, and it hasn't been spectacular. It hasn't been a wow me moment. It's been very efficient, very precise. He knows when to run. He knows when to get the ball to the, to the check down receiver. And that's because he is a veteran and a champion in this league. 11 for 16, 114 yards and three touchdowns. This is Joshua Tomas. Nailed at the 13 yard line. Jermaine Dobbs on the tackle on special teams. Yeah, he got a little banged up here uh, coming down on that play. It's going to be interesting to see if Coach Wooten recognizes that and maybe uh, challenges him or attacks him right now uh, while he's still trying to get his wits together. Two twenty to play. Third period, Arizona 34, Bay Area 27. Daquan Neal keeps it himself. He's been a huge part of the offense, taking it to the 15-yard line. Yeah, it's interesting, too, you know, talking to you earlier before the game, and you said after when you had talked to Coach Wooten about the deep ball and, and taking shots uh, tonight, and we haven't seen him at all. We have, we've seen a lot of check downs, a lot of run game, a lot of Daquan not being able to let it, let it fly because of the coverage, and then him just taking off, and that's that's an attest, a testament to Coach Guy realizing he needed to change his defense up a little bit and try and keep everything in front of him. Second down, seven to go. Daquan Neal, the former league MVP, finds JT Stokes finding that seam in the zone, good for a first down. Yeah, and I, and, and, I, and I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Get him back on rhythm. Give us rhythm. Get him an easy throw. Let Stokes catch the ball. See what he could do after the catch here. He just loses his footing. Had he, had he caught that ball standing up, he might have been able to make a few guys miss. Little window between Connor Taylor and Rashi Hodge. Simpson. Shane makes one miss. Sugar Shane to the house. There is a flag on the play. I do not think it'll stand. Harold Love pointing the other way. And one of the officials gave the hold signal. Coming back. Penalty in the first half on the Rattlers. Prolonged a Panther drive resulting in a touchdown. Bay Area taking six off the board with that hold. And you can see on the big board, Dave, it was a hold. It looked like Davis gets up onto the, 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 the linebacker and gets him outside of his frame and is right in front of the official or the referee uh, during the, the run. Back it up to the Panthers, 18-yard line. Play action, Neal. Daquan fires near board. Pass caught at the 15-yard line. Good for a first down, Pierre Williams. Wearing that Action Jackson number, Pierre Williams does a great job of going up, getting the ball, getting himself down, protecting himself from that wall, and then not taking too big of a hit from the Arizona defender who came in there, Alexander and getting out of bounds and giving Barry a first down at the end of the third quarter. 15 minutes to play in San Jose. Bay Area on the move. Playing for the tie. The banner dropped tonight. Trying to get a win over Arizona, but they got to come from behind to get it done. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. 
we work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Mero West worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Mero West works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Mero West is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Welcome back to San Jose. Look at the next telecast coming up after a pair of games on the road. April 20th against San Diego. Nate Davis and company, the strike force. The first of four meetings with San Diego on the year. That old expression, if familiarity breeds contempt. Well, those two teams would be pretty sick of each other by the <laughs> end of the season. And I believe that was the first win in franchise history, wasn't it? Beating San Diego. Before 15 consecutive uh, losses. Why you got to bring up old stuff? I apologize. <laughs> Dequan Neal keeps it himself, takes it to the 11-yard line. All part of the growing pains of a team that turned it around from 1-15 and to winning a championship last year. Part of that expansion and then, you know, getting into, you know, they brought in Coach Arbet early on last year and he was relieved and then now you got Coach Keith and Coach Wooden. So, you know, you've brought in good coaches, good players, and it breeds championship and now they're trying to go back and repeat this year. A lot of new faces and a new field as well. Remember the black turf they had a year ago here. Ball lot, spot on the 12th. A lot of turnover in this program, in this organization, DL. Second down. Pierre Williams in forward motion. Here comes the blitz. Quick hitter, Jazarek Peterson at the five. They've got some long-built chemistry over the years, going back to their days in Iowa. That was really the first time I've seen Daquan take a shot. Uh, Connor Taylor gets in there and puts a shot on him. At the, it was clean, but gets some pressure on him when they went empty formation. Coach Guy went man-to-man -man coverage and actually put a shot on Daquan to kind of slow him down a little bit in the run game. Here's a look at Guy, three-time Arena Bowl champion, won the IFL title in 2017. Third down from the five. About a yard to go. Simpson wrapped up. Changes direction. Sugar Shane getting to the edge. Touchdown. Wow. A little extra sugar on that one. A little extra sugar, some spice, and everything nice on that one. I mean, that was a great job. When he cut back, it reminded me of Justin Rankin, and then he uses extra. He gets to, goes to his left, cuts back to his right. Tries to use his speed, doesn't get it, gets wrapped up, and then just pure brute power and forcing himself in there before any of the Rattlers could bring him down. Taylor's on the grind, rushing after him. Yates gives it a shot, and then I believe he gets in right on the last lunge. Theo Majet grabbed his helmet saying, how did he get away from me? Peterson. All square. Panthers respond. Twelve forty-one to play fourth period, 34 apiece. You know, though early in the year, very big game for Arizona, looking at going one and two if you don't come up with in here on the road. Yeah, and then, and then the, the interesting part about that is you could be one and two with the two losses coming within your division, your conference, so they want to avoid that. And if you're Bay Area, you don't want to start off 0-1 against one of your league opponents and then next week traveling all the way to Jacksonville to go play another ball game. You want to go to Jacksonville with a, with a win in your belt. Three plays, 38 yards. The capper from Simpson. Well, that was a question mark coming into the season. What would they do without Justin Rankin, who did so much for this team last year? So far, Simpson has risen to the challenge. That's the one thing that, 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 that I'm, I'm shocked about. I know they always tell you to be the best, you got to beat the best. And if you're the defending champs and you're defending this, and you should be ranked. But you lose your MVP, Dalton Sneed. You lose my MVP, Justin Rankin. You lose Axon Jackson. You lose Meadows. You lose 
I'd say about 80% of that Nucleus team that won last year's championship, and you're still ranked number one. After three weeks, after other teams have had a chance to play, they still kept Bay Area number one. And I say that's a testament to who they brought in with Daquan and the coaching staff. Squibber by Peterson. Jamal Miles. Flag is thrown. Miles loose along the sideline. And Kincaid escorts him into the board. We'll check on the penalty. Peterson says it's on Arizona. Whenever you see the flag on kickoff return, it's usually a block in the back. Let's see if that stands true here. It is coming back. It's on Kobe Smith, wide receiver out of San Diego State. Yeah, I remember years and years ago when I used to play the game and do the kick return, I would tell Coach Arbed or Coach Judici, who was our special team guy, tell everybody, don't block nobody. Just get in the way. Let me run it around because you, gotta, you, you tend to hold when guys get around. I just told them, just get in front of them and block them. Rattler's working with a long field. Lorenzo Brown's gone the entire way. They run the option. Odom. Delivering some punishment across the 15-yard line. Tavon Grant escorts him into the wall. Good job right there. I mean, that was those three big guys up front did a great job. Lay and Carter to their side with um, um, Maddie coming from the backside. Did a great job of blocking to get Odom sprung to the sideline. And, I mean, when you run speed option kind of into the boundary and get eight yards, that's a – that's a good play because now it's going to set Coach Guy up with a second down where playbook is pretty much open on this uh, play call right here. With the injury to Martinez, William Lay just signed this last week out of Georgia Tech doing a great job up front. Second is short. Hold everything. Delay of game. I always used to say in the high school levels where I coach we don't have play clocks like that but I always tell our quarterbacks when you're getting ready to call to play look at that back official and see where he's at in the count if you're a quarterback in arena an IFL you have to come in and you got to find that play clock and get your eyes on it got to get to the 17 for the first down Brown Lob it deep and deflected at the last instant. What a play by Tyler Watson, who may have saved a touchdown. Great, great play by Tyler Watson. And, and to be funny is he had no idea what was going on. He just made a football play. He, he saw a receiver running. He played the receiver's hands and eyes. Make, tried to make contact when the receiver's eyes got big and brought his hands up. He did a great job of breaking that play up. Out of East Stroudsburg. Third down. Seven to go. Two and four in motion. Miles, first down. Stumbles across midfield. Watson tripped him up. So far tonight, Jamal Miles has been Brown's go-to guy. He's the guy that's making the underneath catches. He's the guy that's making the catches on the third down situations. And he seems like the security blanket. And there, if he doesn't slip, he might have had six points. That's Miles' fourth catch of the night. Tops on the Rattlers. Under 10 minutes to play fourth period. All square at 34. Ball on the Bay Area 24-yard line. Fake the handoff to Odom. Drag him down. Brown, no chance. West Powers and Tofalele on the stop. Coach Keith Scouting report says on first down, the Rattlers run the ball. And right there, he played run defense right there with Bowers coming off the edge. It looked like the Tona Jackson getting to the field. It was, it was a run defensive call from the jump, and that's... Good coaching on Coach Rocky, or 
understanding what Coach Guy's doing in this ball game tonight on first down. So far, two half stops for Bay Area. Could really use one here. Play action. Here comes the blitz. Brown pump fake. Bond some time with his legs. And take it into the wall and nailed. Wes Bowers. Brown shaking it off. Like a veteran would. He went in that wall, that, that, that wall hard. We have all know the wall's undefeated, doesn't lose, but he knows how to fall and take that brunt without his body. Make your pads hit the wall instead of your body. Barry did a great job in the secondary right there. No one was open. Everybody was in coverage, and then Cromwell comes out of his safety position to come down just in case Brown squeaks through. Third down, 10 to go. Miles in loop motion. This time they rush three. Brown trying to slip free. Let's it go to the end zone. Gibbons again. What a catch for a touchdown. GG with three. And Arizona regains the lead. You can't ask for better coverage. I mean, great job in the secondary right there by Atkins. He's just a good throw. He's, he's got his back to him. Kincaid, I mean, he's, by Kincaid, he's got his back to him. He tries to come up with his, with his hands when he sees the receiver's hands, but Gibbons does a great job of going and getting the ball at its highest point. I hear Terry Malley telling me, go up at its highest point and grab that ball and does that for a touchdown. Six plays, 43 yards, 23 yards. Brown to Gibbons. And Arizona responds. 7.22 to play. Fourth period. Rattlers 41. Panthers 34. We've got a good one here in San Jose. And coming back. You've been on for too long. Online. On call. And on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. From the beginning, Meriwest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Merrill West worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Merrill West works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Merrill West is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. Well, these two are used to playing in close games. Last year, both games going down to the wire. The opener here in San Jose, quite a finish. The Rattlers and Panthers tangling. Dalton Sneed and Drew Powell. That was the first stop of the game on the Hungerford pick. Darren was terrific. This is Dalton Sneed for the first lead of the game as he scrambles the 12-yard run, putting Bay Area on top. But Arizona was not done. They were denied on a two-point try. Panthers went at 47-46. And here another good one, 41-34, Arizona on top. 7.22 to play here in the fourth period. It's funny, we were watching that because I'm sitting here during the break thinking to myself, thinking ahead, Bay Area, if, if Kevin Guy scores to, at the end, he won't have to go for two because if, if the game goes the way it's going, he's going to have the last possession. But I was just sitting there thinking if Dick Coach Wooten was to score with not a lot of time, would they play for overtime or would he go for the two a la what Coach Guy did last year going for two in the win? I think in the game in Phoenix, Dixie said afterwards they were going for the win if they scored that touchdown. Mm -hmm. That was 70 to 63. Played basketball that night. From the 20, Daquan Neal dumps it short. Pierre Williams got great hands. Keep those legs churning. Out of Justine, California. Inside the 20. 
Sacramento State Hornet came, came up out of that catch and kept striving and going and all the Rattler defenders, Alexander and crew, trying to get the ball out of there to get it back to their quarterback and their offense. And Williams does a great job of securing it and keep, keep the legs going and then ball for security. Williams, a big part of that turnaround in Sacramento under Troy Taylor. Daquan Neal, pump fake, takes a shot deep, has a man out there, up and over the wall. We'll see if it's ruled a catch. If so, it's a touchdown. Wow! Jezarek Peterson. Grew up loving Kobe Bryant. Said, I want to be known by one name. Jezarek soars over the wall. And the Panthers, one point away from the tie. Two plays, 30 yards. Well, well he was definitely Mamba-esque on that one, making that play and going over the wall. And that's the exciting thing about IFL. If you catch that ball over the wall and you secure it, it's a touchdown if you were past the pylon. Peterson off for the point after. Tomas, the holder. Craig nails it. Barn burner in San Jose. Jezarek Peterson going over the wall on the receiving end from Neal's pass. All square at 41. From the beginning, Meriwest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. Mero West worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, Mero West works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. Mero West is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot where you don't have to go far to get lost where sipping is a local pastime and where down to earth means straight from the soil visit Morgan Hill that's more like it well last night Thomas Owens of Massachusetts was number one on ESPN's top 10 with a one headed catch in the win of his two falls is Eric Peterson making his pitch to get into that top 10 today. He did a great job right there, securing that ball, making the catch, then securing it going over the wall. And I would I would be surprised if we don't see him on ESPN. I don't know if he'll be number one, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's on there in that countdown. For Daquan, his first touchdown pass. He's got four running. 5.33 to play, fourth period. Panthers and Rattlers tied at 41. Going to be interesting to see if they kick it deep here. Peterson bangs it away. Hit the scoreboard. In fact, I can't think of the scoreboard being hit in our time here at the SAP Center. Craig normally very accurate, able to get the ball around the scoreboard. Another peek at the kick. Greg banging it off the speaker. Ball spotted on the 20. Rattlers play for the lead. Lorenzo Brown sends two in forward motion. Odom. Cross midfield to the Bay Area 23. Seven yard pickup. First down run again. First down run. Does a great job. And I, I, I see why Coach Guy does it on first down. He's getting positive yards, except for the first the last series when he started off on first down. But that's that's his staple is to get a run in on first down. Odom doing a great job of split wide right. Filling in for the injured Shannon Brooks. Brown lets it go far sideline. 
That's Houston good for a first down. Just a quick quick hitch right here. Houston thinks he doesn't get touched by Kincaid. Gets up, tries to get into the end zone. But if he wasn't down by Kincaid, he hit the wall on a spin. Arizona native out of Anthem, Arizona. Went to Arizona Christian. And as we said earlier, made the Rattlers from an open tryout. Last year, 63 catches. Three forty-five to play. Odom again, punishing inside the ten-yard line. Joseph on the stop, and again, first down by Arizona Rattlers. First down run again. Here it looked like they were in a run defense as well. It looks like Bowers got forced over, uh, overran to play a little bit, which gave the cutback lane for Odom to get up inside and get positive yards. Previous first down run, they picked up seven. That one gave them eight. From the eight. Odom again running left. This time they chop him down. Good gang tackle right there. Bowers is going to try to set the edge. And then Kincaid coming in, making a big hit on him from the backside. Detona Jackson was in there. Good job. Now, big third down play here, DL, because now you'll put the onus on Coach Guy. If you can get a stop right here, does he take the three or does he go for it on fourth down and try and keep, uh, keep the possession? Third and short. Miles, first down inside. The five comes loose. Panthers have it. The first turnover of the game. Joe Fouché with the big play. Took it away from Houston. It's going to be interesting to see. I thought Coach Guy was going to throw the red flag just to do it, just to take a look at it to see. I couldn't tell from up here if Miles was down or not. No, he was clearly up because he's laying across the body of it. Looked like Daytona Jackson. That was clearly a fumble. Now, if you're Coach Wooten and Daquan, you got two minutes and 10 seconds to go down here and win the ball game in the opener. The Panthers with two full stops on the night. Daquan Neal. Good for a first down. JT across the 15. You're in no rush here, DL. None at all. You, the, the ball game is in your hands. You can take this down to the one minute mark for sure and then make coach guy use his timeout and walk off either with a field goal or a touchdown so if you're if you're coach Wooten, every time you get the quan over there you're telling him be smart no turnovers don't force anything the best clock management you saw last year was in san diego working it all the way down and getting the walk off sneed to stokes this is jt get to that second level to the 20 yard line Yep, let it ride. So Co Coach Wooten raised the one-minute mark, his one finger up. Let it run to the one-minute mark. You control everything here. Both teams with three timeouts remaining. 60 seconds remaining in San Jose. And what a finish. Panthers 41. Rattlers 41. Final 60 seconds coming up. Game time. The IFL and Build Your Base are back in your communities in 2024. Build Your Base has prepared our teams to bring fun and excitement to the youth in our communities, along with priceless lessons about good nutrition and the importance of staying active. With Build Your Base, our goal is to instill healthy lifestyle principles early in life so they can carry these lessons with them as they grow. Learn more about Build Your Base at buildyourbase.org. You've been on for too long. Online, 
on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost, where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. One minute to play here in San Jose. Panthers and Rattlers tied at 41. David Lewis along with Steve Pappen on the night the Panthers unveiled their championship banner. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. From the 20, Shane Simpson bounces outside to the 23. 53 seconds left. Yeah, I agree with JT Stokes here, which was, should have been a legal defense. Alexander just came off the edge, expecting run, which it was, but he's got to be in, in, in that area where he can't just blitz because if it's a play-action pass, he's in a legal defense, which would have given Barry the first down and almost ended the game here. It's, it's tough because now we're in that situation with Coach Wooten. If you don't get this and it's fourth down, do you go for it? in this situation or bring in the big leg for the, f the field goal because now if you don't get it and you miss Kevin Guy and him have an opportunity if you go for it on fourth down of having a ball on their own side of the 25-yard the line. Got two plays to get two yards. And you better believe Daquan Neal is going to be in involved in both of them. A zone read. You want to have multiple options. Sugar Shane's been doing a great job of running the ball. You got Stokes. That can also run the ball. You got Stokes on the, on, on the quick hitch. He, he's used to running. But I would I would be very surprised if Coach Wooten takes this ball out of Daquan's hands. Daquan, 10 rushes, 80 yards, and four touchdowns. Third down, two to go. Simpson in the backfield. A lot of movement. Neal lets it go. Wide open! Pierre Williams! but smartly takes it down inside the 10 and takes a knee. Heads up play for the rookie. Yeah, and, and I, I promise you, Coach Wooten said that in, in, the, in the huddle. Do not score, go down, don't get crazy because you knew Coach Guy was going to blitz and bring it all out because what he's trying to do is let you score so he gets the ball back. Great job right there by Williams, just getting as much as he could and then getting down. Pierre, a very cerebral player. He says that's one of his strengths. He studies the game. Great at film. Had a tremendous career at Sacramento State. Number two all-time in yards. Number four in touchdowns. And number five in career receptions. And number one right now for Smarts doing what the coach says. The flip side. And this is why if you talk to a lot of coaches around the country in any any area, any group, it's 50-50. Because some coaches will say, I want to score so I know I score. Like, and I don't want to jinx it. What if there's a fumbled snap right now and Arizona recovers it? I get the strategy and I would do the same thing. But there's a lot of coaches that when given the opportunity to score, they're going to score. And what they're going to tell you is my defense gets paid to play defense. You know, and, and, and sometimes, you know, it, it's just the feel of the ball game. Do you want him to score or do you want to put it on your defense? Kevin Guy, one timeout remaining. Bay Area with all three. Following the first turnover of the game, the Panthers have a chance to take the lead. Sugar Shane to the edge. And Simpson goes down on purpose inside the five. Almost a face mask. 30 seconds left. Probably going to be an illegal defense. Coach Guy's bringing the house. Kyle Davis pointing towards Arizona. The Big call here. Yeah, the strategy. Like Coach Wooten's out there because he's trying to figure out if, if he doesn't have to move it closer, he doesn't want to because now it hurts you when you're trying to take a knee if the closer you are. 
He wants to keep it further back. Move it to the four. Kevin Guy still has one timeout remaining. A couple of coaches with some tremendous winning pedigree. Rob Keith, eight championship rings. Kevin Guy with four. With four as a head coach. Three Arena Bowl titles and one United Bowl in 2017. Arms folded, needing a lot of help here down the stretch. We call this a very big game for him, but he said, you know what? The first six weeks, teams are kind of figuring it out. We're going to be there at the end. Mm -hmm. And when when you're QB1, not to take anything away from Brown, because he is a a winner and a veteran, but your QB1 isn't in. You're, 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 building, you're building momentum and relationships with these players amongst themselves until their, their leader gets back. We saw what a great leader Dalton Sneed was. Not just what he did on the field, but you saw how he conducted himself. He was the guy cleaning up the bus, right, when all the guys would leave, picking up the trash, setting the tone. Leading the games of pool and bowling and keeping the group together. On the road games, he was definitely out with the guys, hanging out. But he was the one that was kind of keeping everybody in order and making sure everything was good. And hey, let's get back. And he was his his leadership off the field was what a lot of people didn't get to see. And what people don't realize is that off the field leadership carries over to on the field, and that's why they were able to capture some of that leadership to the championship last year. And the move to the Rattlers for him was a no-brainer. He lives about 15 minutes from the arena. His family is there. Wife is there. It was an opportunity he had to take. Yep, yep. Can't fault the man for that. He got a championship. He would have loved to run it back. But sometimes you got to do some, some things in the game of sports that's, that's a little personal and selfish. First down from the four. Bay Area playing for the lead. Daquan Neal spins to the four-yard line. 25 seconds left. Clock continues to run. Panthers setting themselves up for potentially a walk-off win. 12 seconds left. Now 11. And Keith takes a timeout. I just don't have confidence in my kickers like that. And don't get me wrong. He's a great guy, great kicker. You know, he's almost money. You're keeping it in the middle of the field. But I just... Me personally, I, I, I like scoring a touchdown and, and making sure I'm out in the head. You just never know. I mean, bad snap, bad hold, uh, goes, goes to plant his plant foot for the kick and slips, and it's just so many different things can happen when you know you're going to get six points because they're going to let you get six points. There's Craig DeLeg. Twelve teams he's played with as a professional. Over the course of three leagues and... Keith says he is the best kicker in the league. See, and I guess, see, and that's information, you know, that, that's out there that if you believe you have the best kicker in the league and he's money, then wind it down and let him kick it. I mean, we have over at our high school, we have a kicker that's getting recruited right now. Uh, Casey Carr is a pretty good kicker, but, and I love him. I want him to kick when we need it. But if I don't, nothing against him, but I'm going to try and get the touchdown just because I'd rather put it on our offense that, and knowing that we're going to score. Would you throw? Here, no. No, they're going to let you score. I'd run it in. Daquan Neal gives to Simpson. Sugar Shane drives those legs inside the two. Dixie takes the timeout with seven seconds left. Now third down. Still got time to run another play. They've got one timeout remaining. Just the way you set it up in a perfect world for Bay Area. Yeah, and Coach Guy was smart there. Instead of trying to let him score... He's trying to penetrate and stop him from scoring and then strip the ball out. What he's trying to do is make as much clock go because now, like you said, enough for one more play. But what if something ironic happens and the ball's fumbled or it's a scribble or something goes on and that seven seconds runs out, Kevin Guy did what he was supposed to do. Just saw a great shot with Bowers nodding towards Peterson. Said, I got you on this one. And Seven seconds left. It's not It's not a knock or, like I said, I understand exactly what they're doing. Me personally, I just, 
I just have a tough time when I know I can score. I, I would much rather score, but I totally understand what these guys are doing here. Got the best kicker in the league. He doesn't miss. Why not? And not give Arizona another chance. That's what this is coming down to. They don't want to give Arizona any opportunity to possess this ball again. Third down. From the two. Simpson standing to the left hip of Daquan Neal. Panthers one timeout remaining. Playing for the lead. JT into the end zone. Bay Area touchdown. Barely hanging on. Flirting with disaster. But the Panthers have the lead. 47-41. Great job of clock management. Great job. Uh, again, as we saw from up here, the ball was a little loose in there with JT Stokes and that's just what I'm talking about fortunate for the Panthers it paid off and what looks like going to be the game winner run right here by Stokes eight plays 45 yards the two-yard capper from JT and what a reaction from Bowers to taking Peterson off the hook Craig to make it a seven-point spread Tomas the holder Low snap. Be smart with it, Craig. Dancing. Lob it. And you don't want to give up two going the other way. Three seconds left. Now you see why I don't set up for the field goal to win the game on the walk-off. Because just like that, if Stokes would have been ruled down... And that play right there was for the game winner. We'd be going to overtime. And and I that's, that's just why I don't do it. You just never know what's going to happen with that field goal or extra point. We saw some crazy, crazy things last year with teams just kicking extra points or short field goals, ending up giving two the other way and losing games. Losing games, yep. Special teams plays a big part. Uh, I, I've been watching a few games this, this year so far, and a lot of teams are drop kicking. A lot of these kickers now are doing drop kicks to get that extra two points. By the way, Peterson said, if we need the drop, I'll be ready. You okay. can do it. There it is. Got to be smart here. What you, what you, what you want to do here is, if you're Bay Area, you want these three seconds to run out. You don't want to kick the ball out of bounds. You don't want to kick the ball where it's bouncing in the field and then goes over the wall and no clock runs out. You don't want to kick it right to a guy where he can drop and get down and, and, and preserve a second or two. You want this ball bouncing around, moving to where... It ends on this play right here. 47-41. Kevin Guy needs a miracle. Miles and Gibbons, the deepest of the Rattlers. Inside the 10. There's the squib. Expect some laterals here. This is Miles. He actually takes a knee. So one shot to throw the deep ball from the 13-yard line. There is two seconds left on the clock. Yeah, that was smart because here what's going to happen now is, remember, if you get any kind of illegal defense, pass interference, anything like that, the game is not over. So... Coach Guy is going to take a shot. I don't I don't know if it's going to be a Hail Mary to the end zone or if it's going to be send three guys deep and a guy on a crossing route to catch it and have three guys blocking for him. But if you're if you're Bay Area Panthers, you do not want to come out of your stands. You do not want to get it be out of that belt. You do not want to hold. You just want to let Arizona make a catch and then make a tackle. Panthers DBs. All very deep. Lorenzo Brown, one crack at it. From the 13. Hold everything. Panthers take a timeout. Keith wanted to see what they were going to do. That was their last. Well, I'll tell you one thing, too, and it's funny because being a coach myself and kind of understanding you have four-minute plays, your two-minute drive, your two-point two, two point plays, and you have a situational play for the end of the ball game like this. Coach Keith kind of saw what was coming. 
coach guy's not going to change. What you saw is what you're going to get. You don't you don't go to a game and go, well, we got four or five different two second plays that we're going to do. You might have two, and what he might do is flip the formation or send some other guys in motion. But the play that Coach Keith kind of thought he saw, you're going to get some variation of that play. Two seconds to play. Panthers 47, Rattlers 41, and Juan Kincaid. One final play away from winning the opener. Three Panther DBs inside the 15-yard line. Dropping back, Lorenzo Brown. Here comes the Heat in some trouble. There's the sack to end it. Tay Boogie. Tavon Grant to slam the door shut. And the Panthers win the opener. Great job by Coach Keith. He saw what was coming, devised the defense, told his guys to go get the quarterback. Do not allow him to get there. Grant does a great job. They told him uh, um, coming off the edge. Getting inside uh, there. Joseph Jr. gets inside with a great push on the, on the center. Brown had no chance. He also brought Bowers. He didn't drop Bowers in the coverage. He brought Bowers. He brought four. Bay Area defends its home field and wins the opener. Panthers 47, Rattlers 41. Back with more from San Jose on this Easter Sunday. You've been on for too long. Online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost. Where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. From the beginning, MeriWest Credit Union was created to provide a brighter financial future for you. We work hard for our members because they're our greatest strength. MeriWest worked for me when I needed an auto loan for my first car. When I need to make a mobile payment, MeriWest works for me. Of course it's not all work and no play. MeriWest is the presenting partner of Bay Area Panthers Indoor Football. Enjoy the game. You've been on for too long, online, on call, and on the go. It's time to chill out and take a break in California's newest getaway spot, where you don't have to go far to get lost, where sipping is a local pastime, and where down to earth means straight from the soil. Visit Morgan Hill. That's more like it. Panthers survive on Easter Sunday, beating the Arizona Rattlers 47 to 41. Thank you for being along for the ride today. I'm Dave Lewis along with Steve Pappen. Very well could see these two tangle again in a conference championship for sure one other time in the regular season. Next time the rematch in Phoenix. And what a game and what a fourth period as the drama unfolded here in San Jose. Shane Simpson, Chucky Shane, reverse the field, breaking tacklers and taking into the end zone. Dequan Neal with just Eric Peterson working the sideline to tie the game, going up and over the wall, his first touchdown as a Panther. Jamal Miles with the ball carry, and Joe Fouché saves the day with a fumble recovery. Setting up JT Stokes to cap the 45-yarder, the game-winning score with three seconds to play. 
Bay Area with a 47 to 41 win. There's Wes Bowers. Last year, sharing the linebacker spot with Darren Hunger for this year. Coach Keith says he is the man. Let's get down to the field with Steve Pappen. When it went on tonight in your first game, what did you see from this team that gives you hope moving forward? Well, the ability to, to, to rise to the first team, rise to the challenge, right? A lot of mental toughness. Yeah. 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 Now, with it being your first game, a lot of new faces, a lot of new faces in the secondary. Did you stay true to you? We saw a lot more zone coverage. Or, or was it something you did to benefit your players? Bro, I heard you talking last year. Good job, but look, at the end of the day, Arizona says, This is my 25th time. Yeah, I'm sorry. That being said, they know us, we know them. You got to mix it up. Give them a shot up on your side, too. It's just a great battle. Yeah, we just got to keep them guessing. Last question here. You get the turnover. Dixie takes over on offense. When did you know you were going to go for the field goal, or were you planned for the, were you planned for the field goal, or were you going to try and score a touchdown? Touchdown. If we didn't hit that field goal or the touchdown on third down, we would kick the field goal, which personally would have been an extra point at that time. But hey, luckily we got it in there. What a great management of the clock. That that was textbook for our first game. Couldn't be more proud of that situation. And before I let you go, just so you know, I'm up there saying what I would do and what I wouldn't do. Nothing personal towards you because I, I knew you. exactly what you guys were doing. I just don't trust kicking. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank <laughs> you guys so much. Appreciate have, it, guys. Have a good one. Enjoy tonight. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Back to you, Dave. Happy Easter to Rob Keefe and the Bay Area Panthers as they win their opener on a night that the banner was unveiled here in San Jose. Championship celebrated. A year after going 1-15, they ended up winning it all last year. They are currently number one in the coaches' poll after their victory, 47-41. That shouldn't change heading into next week. Dequan Neal, four touchdown runs. One passing. Next telecast coming up against San Diego in a couple weeks after the road games at Jacksonville and at Tucson. Bay Area with the rally. Shuggy Shane bringing it for Joe Passley, our director. Our producer, Jen Doan. Abigail Townsend on stats. For Steve Papp and I'm Dave Lewis saying so long from San Jose. Happy Easter, everybody. Panthers with a win over the Rattlers.